Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Doesn't it look like I chopped my hair off? I didn't. Um, <laughs> I'm having a weird hair day right now because I'm about to test a new device out that I saw at Ulta and I got very oddly excited about it because it says it is going to provide you with a salon quality blowout at home. And this is by the company, The Beach Waver. This is called the Coast Pro Ceramic Styling Iron. You can see on the back that you have different options of how you can do your hair. You can do it sleek, you can do it S-shaped waves, you can do a blowout finish. and it has kind of what looks like a rubberized edge with little teeth that are gonna kind of grip the hair and you can kind of use it as a straight iron, curling iron situation. I don't know, I'm really not that great at hair. Um, so I was intrigued by this. I was intrigued by what it shows on the front with the girl kind of putting it close to the root and kind of curling her hair. And I thought it would be something different aside from makeup to test drive a product like this here on my channel. So let's just open her on up. There's like 5,000 planes outside my window right now. I, I really apologize. As I'm looking at how struggling my hair is right now, I'm excited to actually plug this in and get going. In fact, let's just go ahead and plug this in right now while I'm chatting with you all. <laughs> Yeah, so you guys may have heard of the Beach Waver company itself. They have a curling wand that rotates, that in my mind is terribly dangerous. I've actually burned my scalp using that wand. I did give it a good try. I didn't like it so much that I was actually invited to the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show last year, and I didn't go because I didn't want to promote a product or give you guys the impression that I was behind a product that I actually don't genuinely love, so please, do know whether I am trying out makeup, skincare, a hair tool, I am always giving you my 100% honest opinion and that's that, bottom line. Doesn't matter if it's sent to me, doesn't matter if I'm offered a trip, it doesn't matter, I'm always gonna keep it really real with you guys because I do not want you to waste your money. I want you to know that I am thoroughly testing everything out to give you the best advice that I can and that is what my channel is all about. So, we are going to dive into this I don't, why is, why is this called a blow dryer attachment? I don't really understand. Are you supposed to use your blow dryer with it? All right, so it's heating up right now. It's heating up really fast. Let's read some instructions. All right, so you really don't get much of instructions in here. Uh, this guy right here is considered a blowout attachment because the way that it's going to curve on the hair is gonna mimic a round brush. This has heated up to 410 degrees. That's hot. I'm just gonna start with a section on top just to kind of see what we're working with and then I'll clip my hair up. But I'm really curious how Do we see that? Oh, hell no. What? Okay, A, I'm turning this down to like 370 because I don't feel like scorching my hair right now. So I'm going to take this, like they say to do, and it even gives you like a little handle kind of a thing. Okay, that kind of curled it, but the weird thing is, are you guys seeing it like crimps your hair? What the hell? That's not smooth or cute. Oh, excuse my bra strap. I'm not wearing a strapless, now you guys all know. Let's try another one up here. Am I doing this wrong? Dear Lord, I did not expect this to be that bad. I'm gonna give it a try, guys. What, I just wore the wrong thing for this video. Um, I am going, I'm gonna clip my hair up and I'm gonna give it an, a good solid try. So it does have this little thing here where you can kind of like hold it and you can kind of do this business with it. Oh God, this is a disaster. Wow, really? Okay, it also says you can do a zigzag way by going like this. And it's like torching my hair. I want my money back. I rarely do this. I feel like driving in the car to Ulta to get my money back. Let's just try to like flat iron my hair and see if it will just do a good job with that maybe. 
What am I doing wrong? I don't understand. Can you guys see how, how like jaggy and weird and like crunchy and like crimpy that is? I'm trying to find redemption here somewhere, but this is just really freaking hard to use, guys. The quality on this, it doesn't even feel for a, f oof, F, don't touch that, that's hot. Why did I in my brain think that I could touch that? These things come off. So if you were using it just as a flat iron, it still, I don't think is that great. I think T3 is better, Amika is better. Um, Chi has great flat irons. I just, I don't know that this is it, guys. Dang, this is gonna be like the fastest video that I've ever done on my channel, but I just know right away what I like and what I don't. <sighs> Shoot, now this company officially is gonna hate me forever and ever and ever. Um, if you see this product at Ulta, I would not recommend it. I would recommend a normal flat iron and maybe I can have one of my girlfriends who are amazing with hair because I have some friends here on YouTube that are good with that come on and kind of do a lesson about doing a curly flat iron thing, which I've had other girlfriends do my hair that way, but I personally struggle with doing it myself, but I know it can be done. Um, I just thought maybe this would be the easier route to actually getting it done without having a friend sit down and do your hair for you. So save your $189. You saw what happened. Wow, that happened fast. And I am actually gonna go to Ulta and return it. And I never do that, but you know what? Almost 200 bucks. I'm doing it, I'm making an exception. So WTF, what do you guys think? Did you like my hair like this? Did anyone like my hair like this? Did you think I should have given a better shot to my whole hair? Cause I think I would have damaged every last strand, but maybe that's just me. All right, um, I love you guys so much. Thank you for hanging out with me while I was trying a weird hair tool. Let me know in the comments below if there are other crazy things beyond just makeup, if it's body care, hair care, skin care, always leave your requests. I read everything and I do love hearing from you guys. Also, I do still have a giveaway going on. I posted on Monday a full swatch review video on the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I'm gonna link that below. There is still time. I know it's a sold out palette right now and I got my hands on an extra one and I am giving it away the details to enter will be in that video and it is super easy. So I hope you check that out and I'm sending you lots of love. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video with a lot of stuff that actually worked out really, really well. So come back for that. All right, I'll see you guys then. Mwah.